Hello, greetings from Civic Space TV here in Uganda and uh, from wherever you are watching from. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. We really hope you are doing well and taking perfect care of yourselves. Well, I would like to welcome you to yet another episode of the Inter-University Debates here at Civic Space TV. And as is the norm, remember we are on YouTube and you can always come in the comment section, but first you have to subscribe and it is at Civic Space TV. You can as well go to Twitter, uh, what you call X lately, and you follow us. Same thing, our handle is at Civic Space TV. But do not forget to use the hashtag hash Civic Space TV and hash inter university debates. Well, as usual, we always have our hot, glaring topics. And uh, today's topic is yet a controversial one, one that is going to affect the level and rate of enjoyments, one that is going to affect the currency of enjoyments here in Uganda, the currency of socialization, and how we go about our happening, like we call it in Uganda. We are happening, we are enjoying. So, and I am not alone today in the Civic Space TV studios. With me are two brilliant minds that I'm going to sit with for that long, and we shall be dissecting the issue at hand, which I am yet to introduce to you. Well, without wasting any time, I would love the lady just right next to me to please introduce herself to you guys. Um, good evening. Um, my name is Michelle Campire. I am a student at, at Nkumba University, located in Entebbe. I am a second year student pursuing a degree in uh, social work and social administration. I am a volunteer at Munange Counseling Center, located right into the heart of the university. Yes, I am passionate about mental health and I am happy to be here with you today. Well, it is so glad to meet young people that are already practicing what they are learning in school. Well, welcome to Civic Space TV, Michelle. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And uh, the gentleman right next to Michelle, would you please introduce yourself? Thank you. Julius Kaleb is my name. Um, an addiction counselor. And uh, uh, I'm pursuing an ICAP from SAPTA in Kenya. ICAP is International Certified uh, Addiction Professional. So, and I'm a mental health and advocate. Wow, amazing. Welcome on board, Julius and Michelle. Well, um, the topic of the day is alcoholism in universities in the light of the proposed alcohol bill. Well, we all know Honorable Sarah Opendi last week brought to Parliament the alcohol drinks control bill that will yet come into one act, that's uh, the Alcohol Drinks Control Act, if the president assents to it. And uh, this bill seeks to address regulating the manufacturing, the importation, the sale, the consumption, the advertisement. And uh, it comes in line with the formerly repealed acts, that is the Enguli Act, the Lika Act. And uh, this bill comes at a time where the members of parliament are feeling like Alcohol consumption is impacting on the health of the university students and young people. Well, uh, we are about 78% of youth in Uganda. And on a random, every year we have received uh, reports from the World Health Organization. Uganda consumes around 12.21 liters of alcohol in a year. That means on average per person consumes 19.3 liters of alcohol. Well, the members of parliament found it a bit alarming, so they thought they could protect the youth. And uh, they came in to guide the narrative on how can the sale of alcohol be regulated? How can the manufacturing, the advertising, so it doesn't have to impact on the young people? Well, um, uh, I would like the panelists for the night to please give us a, a bit of a brief, what do they think about this topic? And uh, to repeat for you, alcoholism in universities in light of the proposed alcohol bill. Um, thank you. First of all, I, when it comes to the university students and the youth, I side with the bill because we are facing so many challenges as youth. Like, People are getting addicted to alcohol at a young age. You find an 18-year-old is out there in a bar drinking and 
Then this thing of, um, for example, the university students, the bars open until morning. So you find someone has um, a lecture in the morning, but by as late as 6 a.m., they're still in the bar, they're drinking. So it, it brings up a lot of challenges, family challenges, health challenges. Like their social life is in a mess because they're addicted to alcohol. So if there was a way of restricting it to a certain time, that would be better in a way because it would save the youth from so many problems. Because, for example, there are girls who go out in the, in the dead of the night and they're drinking. And then they drink so much, they lose consciousness. And then they ended up, end up having unprotected sex with people they do not know. Then we have unwanted pregnancies. Now that leads to teenage mothers. So you just see that this alcohol is, is a root cause of a bigger problem because from alcoholism, then we have unprotected sex. Then we have maybe rising numbers in HIV. Then we have teenage pregnancies. So if there's a way of minimizing this alcohol intake time, then maybe these challenges can also be minimized and maybe the youth can also have like um, a healthier way of life. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much, Michelle, for that submission. I don't know, what do you think, Julius, about the alcoholism in universities? Um, thank you so much. Um, I think uh, it is too much at this time. I support also the MP, uh, Sarah Pwendi, for the bill for a certain level, to, to the certain level. Um, a lot of things have been happening in uh, universities and uh, being a professional working in different rehabs, I've met different uh, students from different rehabs struggling with uh, substance use disorder. I understand uh, at a time it's because of peer pressure, but also uh, availability of the substance at a certain place is also uh, a big point. Um, to a certain level, I support the, uh, the MP. Oh. Just like we said here at Civic Space TV, we discuss issues that have an impact on the economic, the social, and the political life of uh, Ugandans and uh, the globe out there. So I would like to go strictly into the bill a bit from your perspective as a social worker, as a student, and from your perspective as, a, as an addiction expert. Mm. Do you think regulating the manufacturing is really going to be a contributing factor to reducing the number of cases that get to substance abuse? Because as we know, 40% of people who are currently admitted at Wutavika Mental Health Hospital are due to alcohol addiction. So do you think regulating the manufacturing to begin with? Because now, in regulating the manufacturing, that means the people who are manufacturing alcohol need to let the consumers know that, you know what, you cannot consume maybe at this stage, or this is the quality of the alcohol you need to put out there. I don't know about you guys, but there's a time, I think a couple of years back, where people died due to alcohol con alcohol poisoning. Mm -hmm. That was, I think, a couple of years back in Kasese, and the number was quite alarming. So when uh, Parliament comes in to regulate the manufacturing, do you think that would help? And what is the impact on young people at universities, bearing in mind the fact that some of their parents do manufacture, for example, local brew, mm -hmm. and some of their parents do survive on... These are uh, beers on these uh, wise keys on these spirits to earn a living and bring these uh, students to campus or clear their tuition. So do you think this would uh, be a move to, to, to curb down maybe some of these scenarios like uh, maybe people getting poisoned? And uh, of course, if we lose young people, then our GDP is definitely going to get affected and uh, we shall not develop as much as we would have. So what do you think? I'll begin. I'll think maybe Caleb would give us a short first. Wow, thank you so much. Um, understanding addiction or substance use like uh, alcoholism, it is a disease. Um, and uh, there is a lot of uh, factor, reasons why people do use substance. Okay, talking about the university students, why do they use? Sometimes they have some uh, issues or problems at home or with the relationship relationship, I'm not talking about intimate alone, even family relationship. And uh, I think uh, uh, to, uh, stopping 
trying to, 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 to control the manufacturers can reduce, but not uh, a lot to a smaller extent because using substance uh, is, as I told you, is a disease and so you need to, uh, if someone, let me, let, let, me, let me explain it in this way. If someone is uh, addicted with substance or alcohol, they can take all it, it costs, all, all the costs to find out the substance. So reducing on the manufacturing, that means there will be other more drugs developing out. Okay, and now sometimes some people, they, they earn a living from, Yes, that's true. As you said, local brewers, Marua and Tonto, they are local, local beers or local yeah, alcohol sure. from Uganda. And so some people are getting school fees from there. You know, if you cut their earning, you, if you cut their earning, that means they will get a reason to drink. There is a lot, okay, talking about addiction, some books are saying it's a symptom or using substances. In university, it's a symptom that there is underlying problem. Maybe there is a lot of childhood trauma, or maybe there is a lot of uh, other factors that are going on in someone's life. I think we just need to introduce or to, 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 to help the university student understand exactly what is substance use is and what it will cause to their life and also helping them to overcome their childhood traumas or other factors that they face when at university. You know, even bullying can make someone start drinking sure, sure. because others are like, uh -uh. the only way I can fit into into a Derek's group mm -hmm. is by drinking. Oh. So you drink but so that you're not... Uh, we used to call it a bandwagon effect. Uh -huh. okay, so, sure. uh -huh. you, so you drink in order to fit in oh. a certain group and not oh. to be bold. You understand? Mm -hmm. But if, if, if university student get someone who can help them mm -hmm. handle some of the issues, mm -hmm. like I lost, I lost my notes and we are going in for exam, what am I going to do? Others choose to drink and then that mm -hmm. means alcohol will become a medicine for them. Mm -hmm. well, um, uh, before I switch to Michelle, mm -hmm. uh, you, you mentioned pertinent issues uh, about university students having to be a bit oriented, mm -hmm. to be self-aware about their mental health, how mm -hmm. it makes them behave, how it gets them addicted, mm -hmm. or what we always, I think, call the coping mechanisms. Mm -hmm. Is there something that the Ministry of Health you feel hasn't done to, to like, uh, like, like, uh, curb this down because I, I I was at university for four years mm. and I do not recall knowing where the counseling center for the university was. Oh. It's so sad. So I, I don't know from your experience mm. as a, an addiction uh, expert, mm. have you seen the Ministry of Health come mm. through? Because uh, we all understand that way before COVID, mm. really addiction and mental health was just a uh, in, 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 what we call in, in Luganda, I mean, to be other zone. I mean, man, how do they see you? So you cannot mm. explain to someone that Okay, back then you would not explain to someone that this person is drinking mm. because they have an underlining issue. issue. Mm. To us, back in them days, it used to look like, oh, wow, this person just wants to drink. Mm -hmm. It is a lifestyle. So if you say it is not a lifestyle, mm. there is an underlining issue. What do you think the Ministry of Health is not doing? Because at the end of the day, it has to foot bills mm -hmm. back at Wotabika. Mm -hmm. you, you understand? Mm -hmm. And then the, the, the country will not develop because more is spent on uh, trying to sort something that mm -hmm. would have been, uh, I mean, avoided in mm -hmm. a way. So mm -hmm. do you think there is something the Ministry of Health is not doing? Yes. Um, thank you again. I think the Ministry of Health is supposed, they need to focus more on uh, students, not only universities, but even other, other uh, like secondaries and, and, and even primaries. Because uh, if we now start to fight addiction or alcoholism in, in, a, in a university, that means we are trying to fight the symptom of a disease. And you know, the best way of fighting the disease, you don't fight the symptom. It's like like addiction is a symptom that shows, as, I, as I've, I've just explained to you, that it is a symptom that shows that there is a problem. So if you start fighting for a symptom, it's like getting measles, and then you start fighting for this rash. Mm -hmm. This is not measles. The, the rashes are not measles. And that's what now uh, Ministry of Earth and, uh, and, uh, and uh, 
uh, some 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 MPs are thinking. So they are trying to fight the rush so that someone look uh, good, but inside they are still having measles. So the best way of handling it is handling our fellow students in the beginning. Like if they know, if they get an office, every university, this is this would have been even a mandatory to all universities, that every university has someone they can talk to because like ladies are being defiled at a university, students, girls, but they have no one to talk to. You see, she, exp she, she talked about something, I, I don't know whether before this, that uh, sometimes people take uh, alcohol and then they get off and then Sometimes yeah, 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 sure. you, you find yourself in a, someone's bed and you have done something and then you, you have no one to talk to. It's used as a catalyst to maybe kick them off. And you then, understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, But if, 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 if students have somewhere to go and talk about some issues, there are even some issues like from home. I'm a woman, I'm a girl at a university. Let me say we are one, but at home I have an uncle who sleeps with me. Oh. You get, yeah, sure. and I can't report because my sis, my my auntie is a very good cross of my uncle. Friends, they are friends, mm -hmm. and he, you can't even just come and say my uncle is using me. So you guess what people are going to use? Oh, Substance. Alcohol. Are you going to get medicine? Oh, wow. Alcohol. Yeah. So, Amazing. I love this sub, sub the, the, this uh, submission. Mm -hmm. I think basically we are talking mental health versus <laughs> development exactly. of a country, exactly. and it is great because mental health is a pertinent. Part of us, like if you are not well mentally, definitely there is nothing you can do to contribute to your country, to mm -hmm. your family. Mm -hmm. Well, um, uh, you, you mentioned uh, a, a, a very big point. You talked about uh, counseling centers. Mm -hmm. I think of late, I've been to a couple of universities where I have my sisters go, and uh, I, I try to 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 check in and peep in and ask if there is a counselor. And uh, the, the 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 ratio between the counselor to students is mm -hmm. so alarming. Yeah, that is how I come to Michelle to ask her. I mean, now uh, mm -hmm. you think regulating the manufacturing would uh, help, like keep these youth afloat to stop them from overusing alcohol? Because uh, the whole point of the bill and uh, it coming up is to save the younger generation. You think controlling the manufacturing would really help? Do you think? Yes, it would help, but we have to do more than controlling the manufacturing. We have to also control the publicity of these alcohol substances. Because, for example, me when I'm going to school, I think I pass like eight posters Whoa. that are talking about alcohol. Mm -hmm. And I believe um, at, at the main gate of my university, like a few steps, there is um, a place that sells alcohol. Whoa. You get so alcohol is easily accessible to the students and um, then it's everyone like anytime they can access the alcohol. Because they're talking about um, closing, the, regulating the time of the bars from 5 to 10 on the weekdays. We will and, really come to but that. But then, mm -hmm. it's not only about bars. Not everybody who drinks goes to a bar. Mm -hmm. Some people drink from their homes. Yeah, that, that, that actually you happens get. in Rwanda because they regulate the drinking you time. People, but you are free to do this from your home, from the mm -hmm. comfort of your couch. Yeah, people drink from their home and um, people drink from anywhere. People buy alcohol on the road. You get. But then if we are to talk about curbing alcoholism, we have to do more because now, you know, alcohol, people don't take alcohol as a way of life. Most people take alcohol as, um, how can I say, as a person. Mm -hmm. They have issues that are bothering them. Mm -hmm. So they um, take this alcohol to suppress those issues. You get, Very for example, true. you said um, there are universities that don't have counseling centers and all that. Mm -hmm. I can give you an example. Every time I'm in campus, and my friend wants to meet me. I'm like, hello, I'm at Mundange, find me there. And they're like, where is Mundange? And I'm like, okay, it's the counseling center of the university. It is, oh. it's at the center of the school. Like, you cannot miss it. That is like, even you say the, what is the, the Ministry of Health not doing for the mental health and all Have that? Have you gotten support for the counseling center from the ministry before? I do not know that, oh. about that. But the ministry, I believe, is doing very little so you are hitting universities they advertise more of uh these are uh, alcoholic drinks more than they should advertise the services they are offering. i'm not saying the universities 
the alcohol is along the way to the university. But we've also seen these universities have these beer companies as their flagship sponsors. Yes. When it comes to things like a Freshers' Ball, mm -hmm. to the yes. Orientation Week, mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to political campaigns. Yes. Yes, we have we have some universities. Um, I don't really know about my university because it's very um, the sponsors I see when we're having events are friendly sponsors because yeah, sure. I see Minat Maid and all that. Mm -hmm. They're the banners I normally see. I see banks and all that. Mm. But then yes, there are universities that have that have um, beer sponsors that they are in partnership yeah, with yeah. these beer companies. Mm. You get, but that alone is not enough. We need to do a lot if we are to fight this. We have to do a lot more than just closing bars and mm -hmm. giving them a time limit. We have mm. to fight. We have to kill the cause. No, we don't have to to fight the So symptom. manufacturing literally has nothing. No, no, reducing mm. the manufacturing because we are Ugandans and we know this very well. Mm -hmm. People, I remember when we were in COVID, they restricted movement, mm -hmm. but people still moved. We are Ugandans and they'll always find a way around it. We, we, which brings me to, because now we are switching from manufacturing mm. to consumption type. Mm -hmm. yes. So that the bill seeks to address this. Mm. On weekdays, you can only drink mm. or access alcoholic drinks mm. between 5 and 10 p.m. in the night. Mm. And over the weekends, that's uh, between 5 and uh, 12 a.m. in the morning. That's uh, literally midnight. And, and now you are talking about lockdown, how we've been in the lockdown where people still had access even when they were told not to. Exactly. And now here we are. You know, you know, past the age of 18, you are free. You're a free bird. You, you're free to fly and do whatever, chop your wings, mm -hmm. and uh, like, I mean, dock on any tree that you feel like. Yes. And these are university students. They have all the free time to themselves until close to examination time. Mm -hmm. So what does consumption time have in effect with controlling how young people at universities use or overuse? Um... Really, uh, I really don't think that the consumption time is really going to help the university. Because, I don't know, personally, I'm going to use my, 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 my university. At the road that goes up to the university, sure. I don't know if you've been there, there are like three bars. There are like three bars in that area. I know because the bill as well seeks that there shouldn't be any bar within 400 meters exactly. from a, like a, an yes. educational institution mm. from a hospital. So, yeah, that would actually help a lot if they, uh, oh, oh. they if they would like, if you say, you know what, there's a university here, there's a learning center here, mm -hmm. or there's a hospital here, you maybe have to like be a bit farther from it. Because the nearer these services are, you have to do more than closing time. Oh. You get, because these students will be like, okay, fine. It's five to it's five p.m. to ten. So let me go in that time and maximize it and drink as much as mm -hmm, I can, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that by ten, I am, um, I'm done and I go home. But even between that five to ten p.m., someone can get wasted. I've seen people get wasted in with in the space of thirty minutes. They enter the bar, they drink thirty minutes, and they're down. You get so if we are curbing alcoholism and we're not just restricting time and all that, mm -hmm. we need to do a lot more. Because now, for example, the students of universities, they drink not because they want, but because they are fighting something. So if we find healthier ways for them to fight these issues they're having, for example, he said there are some university students who are like maybe being used by their uncles and all that. Um, this person is drinking not because they want to; they're drinking because that is haunting them, and they need something to help them forget it. But if there was a healthier way that this person can forget that, you get, that they can find a way of um, maybe, okay, when I'm feeling stressed, when I'm feeling anxiety, mm -hmm. I can do this. I don't really have to rely on alcohol. I can rely on maybe exercise, reading a book, oh, wow. listening so those to are music. The healthy ways. Yeah. Oh, I love. You get, like, talking to a friend. Mm -hmm. You get, like, we do not have to use alcohol. As a solution for everything, we have to just teach these university students mm -hmm. to get better ways to cap their problems, their issues, whatever they are facing. They have to find um, healthier lifestyles. You get. Oh. You have to tell them. You know what? You can do more than just taking alcohol. Well, the bill yeah. is not talking anything healthier ways. They're well, just closing. Mm -hmm. they, for them, they just want to close. But you know, when you close, it's like, for example, it's like finding a tank. 
that has a hole and you just put tape there. Oh, so with, with time, time it's break loose. That with time on the pressure on the water in the tank, the tape will break loose. So these people just want to like close, like let's limit the time, let's close. Yes, they have closed. They have limited the time of bars are being active. But have they really tried to understand the reason as to why we are consuming this much alcohol? Because I think you said, were they 12 billion liters of mm -hmm, alcohol mm -hmm, per mm -hmm. year? Yeah, sure. They're not trying to understand why are Ugandans drinking this much alcohol? They just want to get a quick fix. They, well, let's close the bars. So, so in your in your regard, what, what, what do you think healthier ways are mm. for the government to adopt instead of just bringing a blank bill? Let them find let them find the root cause of the issue of why mm -hmm. people why Ugandans are drinking so much alcohol. Yes, they are those who drink it for fun, but sure. then there are those the majority drink it for real problems they have issues they're trying to find they're trying to fight sorry and um they have so many stresses in life that they you know like people use for example someone once told me i just want to drink and forget my problems yeah. you get but if this person had a healthier way of forgetting okay not forgetting but coping with their problems <clears throat> finding a better way to maneuver their problems they wouldn't have to seek alcohol Oh, yes. Thank you so much, Michelle. And wherever you are watching from, do not forget to follow us on Twitter and join the conversation, hash interuniversity debate, hash civic space TV. Now over to you, um, uh, Michelle pointed us to another point, another clause in the bill that seeks that there should not be any alcoholic drink selling points. 400 meters within universities or higher institutions of learning. So um, we understand some of these bars are owned by students. Do you know about that? Yes. We understand some of these bars are actually owned by our very own legislators or our lecturers at universities. Yes. In your understanding, uh, besides the healthier ways that she is proposing for the government to include in the alcoholic drinks control bill, do you think this proximity between the universities and these places is going to help because these are actually owned by students. Some use them to pay their tuition. Some use them to survive in life. And uh, some of these are also owned by, I mean, uh, like lecturers in spaces. I've, I've seen uh, bars at different halls of residence at oh. certain universities. Um, uh, so do you, what, 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 what is your, your, your thinking in regards to the, the proximity? Yeah, thank you so much. But before before going to that question, there is let me go back a little. You know, there is a law. I don't know whether it's a law of demand or law of what. Demand. When you, when when you, when you reduce when you reduce uh, uh, the demand, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how do you reduce the demand of alcoholism mm -hmm. by helping these people understanding the problem or overcoming the problem? And then that means if if I talk to Michelle and Michelle stop drinking, the manufacturing companies are going to Reduce yes, because they don't yeah. have. Yeah, there's no demand. That demand is very little. Sure. Okay, now I've got uh, 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 I've got a solution for that one. It, we don't need to attack the the, the manufacturing companies yes. for that. We just need to help our students, our fellow students, or other students, or any Ugandan or anyone to understand their problem and how to get out of their problem, so that we reduce on the consumption. Then going to that to to your to your question i think by in that way i've, I've also answered you mm. okay taking taking bar bars away from the schools or near the schools is not also a solution because let me tell you this is a disease where you can do anything okay getting uh, getting some information from other type of addiction like mm -hmm. using drugs people can use any drug like if someone is smoking weed and at that time, weed is not there. They can even smoke this this grass, grass. gray Whoa. hair, Whoa. other people, other things. I've, I've seen the story at Bukit. There were young people are smoking. Gray you hair understand? Yeah. So that means they can even fold papers and smoke them. Wow. And that is a sign that show that that shows that even if you take bars two kilometers away from the, the from the school, and someone is having a pressing problem, something that is squeezing him or her they will find a way of getting drugs. And though, mm -hmm. the, if you take them too far, that means there is other problem. Just imagine someone wake up at around one, 
to look for something to drink and it is far. They will move and get maybe accident, robbers, right. blah, blah, blah. You understand? Eh? Mm. So I think, like, I'm not against the bill completely. Mm. I think whatever they see, they see it just because they are somewhere. On the, on the surface. Yeah. Yes. Face value. Uh, and me, I see it from down because I've been working with people who are struggling, I understand what they can do. They can do everything to find until mm -hmm. when they get uh, they, they, they get a, a, a help mm -hmm. by talking to someone, to a friend. And you know nowadays friends use Facebook or, 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 or WhatsApp yes, or social sure. media. You can tell them your problem. I remember there is a musician. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will not share his, yeah, his yeah. name. He talked to someone on a phone, but then I, on on an evening show, the Rugambo show, <laughs> we saw everything, and someone was sending a recording to the TV, oh, okay. talking to someone, and that's why I recommend professionals. We have very many counselors, even in school. You you, you see, even kids, when you talk about counselor, they ask you, "Are you are, are you mad?" Oh. They think that there is a lot of stigma. They think counselors are supposed to handle mad, mad people. people. Oh. And yet, for her or him is not mad. He's just having an issue with a father. The father is beating a mother, and he feels bad, and he can't do anything because the father is very energetic. And this is a university student who can go and drink, oh, who has a, a, a pocket money oh. to drink. So you rather drink rather than attacking your dad to beat you. You understand? Oh. Yeah, it can work taking them away, mm -hmm. but to a lesser extent. extent. Yes. Because uh, if you say, uh, I mean, uh, talk therapy or seeking uh, professional help mm. really works. Mm. Uh, I've, I've heard people prof like, like testify about it and it's, it's worked for them. Mm. But what exactly happens if you talk to me as a university student mm. and then as I walk out of the counseling room, mm. there are these posters uh, mm. from, from our, uh, a beer company. Mm. And then these beer companies are like a flagship partner for our, for our, our campus bazaar. Mm. Also, what happens? Because the bill also seeks to control this kind of advertising. Mm. I, I think maybe it could like revolve back, mm. you know, like I've stepped out. And at mm. the end of it, maybe the bill has, I mean, I mean uh, is trying to, to address that. And when you talk about online, yeah. or online presence and uh, maybe online counseling sessions mm. and how people open up to others when they're going through things mm. so they do not have to actually use as a coping mechanism, mm. the bill also seeks to address the advertisement through uh, online platforms, mm. that is social media. Mm. And then we are having university students as influencers, mm. like someone has their followers, mm. and that is what they're using maybe to, to, to get ma maybe money mm. for, yes. for their meals. Mm -hmm. And then they are an influencer. They are in a class uh, course WhatsApp group. Mm. And all they keep sharing are these uh, hanging out places, mm. uh, are these festivals, mm. are these uh, drink ups, mm. you know. Mm. So what happens? Uh, how effective is that counseling going to be mm. if the bill does not come in mm. to control Mm. what these students interface mm. after the counseling. Oh, okay. Uh, talking about counseling, counseling doesn't work in one day. And um, it's, it's, it is an individual decision. You know, counselors don't, 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 uh, we don't help people to overcome their problem. We don't do that. Actually, when you say that, mm. I keep on telling people, when you go for counseling, the mm. counselor doesn't give you the solution. Uh -huh. The counsel you already have the solution. Yes. The counselor just guides you uh -huh. to the point. It's like when you have a challenge, this counselor is going to hold your hand mm. and move with you uh -huh. until you get across. Let me give so. you a, a smaller example. Mm. Yesterday, uh, this is not a, a, about counseling. Yesterday, I went with someone and he wanted to buy dummies. You know, these dummies yeah, they use yeah, in boutique. Mm -hmm. So she was there asking about the dummies with a head. And then these other dummies look the same but without a head. So she was there and they were selling the other one very expensive than these ones. Mm -hmm. So when she asked me, what, what do you advise to me? I asked him one question. What do you want to put on the head? She chose to buy the others. Because her clothes are going to stop here. She doesn't sell capes. Mm -hmm. She doesn't sell wig. wig. She doesn't sell anything on her head, like here. Yeah? 
I asked her a question. I did not help her. Like, like, I did not give her a solution. I did not tell her that you buy this or buy this. When I asked her a question, she started thinking deep to find her the solution because she had the solution. So that's the same thing. When you come into a counseling, a, a, a counseling session, we talk about your problem and I will tell you that drinking or using any substance will not help you. It will even rather destroy you. So you make a decision where either you go back, whether you go back and drink or you hold on and come back for the next session. You also talked about time. I, I, I also want to share about time. Time, like if, if people want to kill people who are struggling with alcoholism, I don't want to use the other word, R limit the time. My dear, the amount needed to get high can be used in one minute. I don't know whether you, I, I, I'm, 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 you have understood. Yeah, me. I, I really understood. But my question in that line is, mm -hmm. if I can take one minute to get high as a university student, mm -hmm. then it means at, uh, at 5 and 0, 01 mm. p.m. in mm. the evening, mm. I am high. high. That is within the time that the bill seeks to address mm -hmm. because uh, it says if you if you are found mm. drinking way before that, mm. that is around 10 years of imprisonment. Mm -hmm. Well, now it is 5 and 0, 01 p.m. Mm. Mm. and I've, I've, I've like accessed a drink mm. and I'm high already. Mm -hmm. So does that mean... What you are saying would address alcoholism because at the end of the day, I've used mm. and I am high. Mm. So, <clears throat> so you know, when when you, when you when when you limit time, you you are helping them to use fast, fast. Mm -hmm. use the small time they have. Mm. But when you leave the time, they also think about enjoyment. Like I am. Yeah, let me use that word. Enjoyment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Taking longer with friends. Vibes so you vibes. take a little. <laughs> and you dance. So you, you take a little. Yeah. So the, 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 the amount you would have taken in two minutes to get high, you can take it in six hours. Oh. So time, okay, reducing the time is very important, but it will not control. I don't know whether I'm against everything, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to what Michelle, my colleague, has said. I believe the time will actually increase. Yes. Because if this person was going to take 10 beers, let's mm -hmm. say 10 beers, mm -hmm. in the span of For the whole week. night, mm. now they have, how many hours are they? Five? Mm. They have five or four to five hours mm. to drink those 10 beers. Mm. Now, Someone was going to drink from five to like, okay, not five, let's say from like two mm. to like eight in the morning. Mm. And they're taking their 10 beers, mm. you get. Mm. Then now they have only four hours to take mm. their 10 beers. Mm. Yes, you have reduced the time, mm. but actually you've caused more harm than good. Because mm -hmm. now this person is having too much alcohol in mm. a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. And then the, the symptoms or the problems they might face mm. might be actually higher. higher. Oh. You get because yeah. they are getting higher faster mm -hmm. and then they are making rush decisions because you know what? Mm -hmm. I can't be found in a bar mm -hmm. at 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. I have to rush home. Mm -hmm. They are running, you know. Mm -hmm. Now remember, they are in a rush, mm -hmm. they don't have time to sit down and maybe say, Okay, mm -hmm. let me do this. Let me like they do not have time to like really be rational. Mm -hmm. They're just trying, okay, I don't need to I can't be found here at 10 p.m. because there's this punishment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get Take an example mm -hmm. if yeah. you are angry. Mm -hmm. and then they give you one minute to eat, what will you do? Oh, definitely I'll snack like it's the last <laughs> meal of my life. But will it help you? Uh, not really. I might end up puking and you, all that. Yeah, yes. You, you yes. get. So if you have a very short time to do a lot, mm -hmm. it, you, but if you, if you have one hour for mm -hmm. your meal, mm -hmm. it's actually going to benefit you because you're going to eat slowly, then you'll digest and all that. You get. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you about so, mm -hmm. alcoholism. Eh? Mm -hmm. If you don't reach your height, you can't stop. Oh. The tolerance level increases uh, every, every single time. day you drink. Mm -hmm. So if today you consume the five and your brain is telling you maybe we, we can go 
tomorrow you'll consume six. Okay. Just then imagine day eight. now today you are on ten and they reduce the days, the, the time. You're supposed to live at this time. And your brain is telling you, man, you can make ten ten. Oh. In four hours. So you will buy those ten and take them home. Or you can buy the, that ten and drink them there before that time. Well, you guys are hitting two two birds with one stone. Mm. But I would love like you guys to help our audience understand mm. the bill mm. comes in light of uh, health warnings as well. Yeah. Mm. The bill says mm. they need to review the health warnings that are written maybe on the on these advertising materials, mm -hmm. maybe on these bottles, on these white skis, on these sachets, on these uh on these alcoholic drinks. Mm. I don't know if you've had a time to to maybe read some of them and to bring you back mm. uh, to you guys hitting two birds with one stone mm. there is also the issue of age mm. now when you guys are talking about time does it mean maybe that the, the, the age limit that we have had over mm. the years with mm. with uh with uh, the liquor act with mm. the portable spirits act with the enguli act before do you think this age limit needs to be raised so that the students at university are barred from accessing because I mean uh, mo most of the university going age for mm. uh, undergraduates is always uh, between I think 19 to 23 mm. or 24 or 25 around that. Do you think maybe 18 is uh, is uh, just uh, uh, something that hasn't worked? Because if you uh, the way you are talking about addictions mm. and then we know the health hazards. I've I've heard you guys just talk about addiction. Mm. You know people are, are having blood issues. People mm. are getting that diabetic. Mm. They're having artery issues. Their mm -hmm. hearts are stopping like to pump well. Mm -hmm. And people are having strokes. That is how the, 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 the legislators are coming into to make sure they safeguard the young people. Mm. But the way you are saying. Mm. The hours have mm. nothing on the enjoyments. Mm. The hours will actually double the enjoyments, which will become double the effect. So it mm -hmm. will mean from the 40% of the cases that we are currently having at Wutavika, now they will be 80. Mm. So do you think the age limit is just way too below the standard? Should, could do you, in, your, in your understanding, could it be raised? Mm. And also the health warnings, do you mm. feel the talk of, Alcohol consumption is harmful to your health. Mm. Please do not drink and drive. Do you think that is not working? Mm. It is working for some. Because mm -hmm. I remember there's a time I I think I was, I was asked for my ID. Mm -hmm. And I looked at this person in shock. And I was like, you want to see my... That, that, that happened in Uganda? Oh, good. Because the, the, the bill claims people need to know the age bracket of the people who are buying. Now, I mm. think mm. what would actually help is, mm. remember like how I was asked for my ID? Mm. Had I been below the age is, limit? Is that in a bar, in a... Or, it, it which, was a which alcoholic selling point was no, it? It was a supermarket, and I believe, I think I had been sent, and they were like... I think I've only seen that in the movies. <laughs> no, no, I, that's why I said I was shocked. Like, I looked at this person in shock, and I'm like, this person watches too much movies because why oh, why do you need my why, why do you need my ID? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You get and I was like he was like if you don't have an ID, I cannot confirm your age and I cannot sell you this alcohol. Oh, wow. Wow. You get. But then I think that should be adopted. Instead of saying um eighteen and just stopping at eighteen. Mm -hmm. For example, when you go to the bars, me and you like I could be here and I'm eighteen years old. Mm -hmm. You get. If I walked into a bar, who would stop me? Like, they don't know my age. I could be 18 and say, I'm 25. Do you know my age? Are you my parents? You don't. So if they could say, okay, you know what? For you to enter a bar, you must have an ID. You get? Mm -hmm. Like, you have to show a valid ID, regardless school ID, driver's license, whatever, where they can confirm your age. You get? That will work for the age limit. So that they know, you know what? When you're going to buy alcohol, you can I can eighteen year olds won't buy because there's that ID thing. You get. And then um for the um for the advertisement and all that. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excessive consumption of mm. alcohol is harmful to your health. They always say. I've seen bottles that say shake before you drink and people just drink anyways. Wow. You get so people yes listen to that message and yes they take it in and they understand but do they understand the effect they do they understand how it will impact them so instead of just saying um, it will harm your body too much consumption 
tell them the effects. Tell them, you know what? If you drink too much, you're going. This is going to happen. You get. Because then the brain will actually understand faster what they're trying to tell you. Because if you just came and told me, ah, don't take too much sugars. My brain wants to know why. Why shouldn't I take too much sugars? You understand? So if you come and tell me, you know what, Michelle? If you take too much sugar, you're going to get diabetes. If you take too much sugar, you're going to get high blood pressure. I will understand that faster than just telling me don't take sugars, don't consume too much alcohol, don't drink and drive. Tell them if you drink alcohol and drive, you might end up in an accident and die. Give them consequences of the actions they are taking. Michelle, it is, uh, is that like Michelle, a, then you see, after approach mm -hmm. or before then approach? I beg your pardon. Is that like an after then approach or before then approach? I think it's before. You tell it before, mm -hmm. then after. They be like, okay, they have time to think about it. Then oh. those who make the decisions will make the decisions. Michelle, mm. you see it, the, the, on, on on a cigarette. Mm. They put lungs. Yes. Clans, eh? Can, I, I remember there's a time I saw a friend was, there's a cigarette, it's called Sportsman. Mm -hmm. They have people whose throats are out. And the lungs are out. The lungs are out. Mm. But this person will comfortably buy this, buy this cigarette mm. and smoke it. Yes. And I'm like, do these people really understand what this, you know, putting the image on the cigarette mm -hmm, doesn't mm -hmm. help because... This person will just look at it and look at yeah, like, uh, like I said, it, you know, it keeps like, resounding in my head. Excessive consumption of alcohol is harmful mm -hmm. to your health. Because okay. I've, I've heard this from way when I think I was yeah. eight. No, and <laughs> some, some of the people who buy these things don't mm -hmm. even read them. They just want what is inside. Mm -hmm. they, like, they just buy the cigarette or they buy the alcohol. They mm -hmm. don't even mm -hmm. take time to read of the alcohol percentage. They don't even know. Like, I think I, there are people out there who drink alcohol, but they don't even know the percentage of what they're drinking. They're just, may I just, they're like, may I take this, I check. <sighs> the, the, okay. Does the, that the, uh, get, get uh, the, is that the effect of our reading culture? Or? Yeah, maybe. Oh. There, there, there is one joking uh, question I can ask. Have you ever uh, slept in a, a re unlaid bed? Like, disorganized yeah, bed? Yeah, sure. No. Me too. Oh. You're lucky. So that's the same thing. Eh? If you want something, mm -hmm. like if you are dying with a sleep, you just see. If you want cigarette because of the problem that you are having, mm -hmm. you don't even think about whatever they're going to cause. So that's where we, I think it comes back to instead of fighting alcoholism like, at the top, uh -huh. mm -hmm. let them, you know, um, I'm nursery to... teachers, mm -hmm. let them be a mental health advocate. Oh. Let kids, because let me tell you, let me share a small story about a kid. Mm -hmm. A kid one day, hey, okay, the dad left the mother, they separated. Then the uncle came in as an uncle. But this kid reported he was dozing in the class. And then the teacher asked, why are you dozing? The kid is like, I did not sleep. Why? Because the uncle was yeah. beating my mom mm -hmm. all over the night. And I couldn't sleep. I can't even imagine. You understand? Mm -hmm. That is a situation. Now that is affecting a, a kid, a nursery kid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Someone so comes from nursery. You, you mentioned the nursery teachers. So that means our government needs to invest more in capacity building yes. uh -huh. of mental health advocates yes. straight from the grassroots. Yes. Than what, just what, what, what was the approach of the, of the nursery teacher in, in this? Well, the nursery teacher was asking me what to what do. What to do? Yeah. Wow. Well, so you could tell that is how far these issues stem from because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's that trauma. It is now the triggers that you, we need to cover up. You yes. see? So wow. that's why, that's why, like, you see this And now alcohol? you see a kid like that one can, can when they grow up, they can fight. They can beat a woman because in that's their head, no one saying. is going to tell them the truth. But maybe it was a game. Well, we are live <laughs> on Civic Space TV, <laughs> and I guess our legislators are paying attention. So if you are a parent out there, because uh, we don't have parents on the panel, you can join the, 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 the space. You can just come through, hash inter-university debates, hash Civic Space TV, and you can let us know what you think from uh, your space. So now, uh, I want to also ask something. So there are, are these penalties put in place. Mm. For, of course, we, we, we have seen that the bill doesn't want to sort the underlining factors as to why are these students are drinking, why they are overusing alcohol and maybe other substances that uh, we choose not to talk about today. Mm. So because we are trying to focus on alcohol, mm. 
do you think this this would help for, for example uh, um the the 10 million mm -hmm. that that they have to pay if they are found drinking way before time and then now there is also you 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 have your license taken if you are a bar owner that is within the 400 meters and uh, if you are a, a manufacturer who doesn't have the right advertising if you are a manufacturer that doesn't have the right uh, health warnings do you think these measures could uh, maybe play a, a vital part, a vital role in uh, in alleviating the level of addictions to alcohol in uh, higher institutions of learning, universities to be specific? Mm. Yes, they might. Mm -hmm. They might, con they, they will control the time, but they will not control alcoholism at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. They will control the time people are in bars mm -hmm. cause, because of the fear of paying 10 million. Because mm -hmm. for example, I'm a student, I'm a university student. Where am I going to get 10 million to pay a fine for being in a bar? You get. But mm -hmm. still, that won't stop me from going in the bar within the time frame. Mm -hmm. So, yes, they will curb the time, but they will not curb the problem. So, that, the, the question actually that I really want to ask is yes, they have put up all these guidelines, they have put up all these penalties, they have done, they are saying, put. Um, put alcohol scent selling points 400 meters from the universities, mm -hmm. hospitals, and all that. Mm -hmm. But we have alcohol being delivered. Well, that's how apps. I talked about that <laughs> online, because yes. this is mostly run by millennials, mm -hmm. and they are running these businesses online. I mean, uh, people have liquor, or oh, they call them liquor houses. That's a, a very beautiful term for them to turn, like Michelle's liquor house, mm -hmm. Michelle's drinks. Michelle's vibes on vibes, and then someone is able to just access their WhatsApp and text Michelle. Oh. And uh, when you talk about these these places that are se selling alcohol, mm. there are supermarkets. Yes, supermarkets. They are alcohol. open twenty four seven. So if a bar is not, oh, so so what? Um, what? You know that, that, that mm. that's where my question comes in. What are we fighting? The time in the bars or the alcoholism issue? Mm -hmm. You get because alcohol is accessible even at a petrol station. True. So I want to understand, like, Even what are they charge? Charge? No, 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 that is not alcohol. Uh, that the, is holy the, 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 wine. The, the, the bill seeks not to regulate that. Yeah, yeah. yeah but then it's, it's not because mm. you cannot go to church to drink alcohol. That is holy wine. But then what I'm asking is, mm -hmm. what are they fighting? Is it the time we are spending in the bars, or do they want to fight the problem of alcoholism? So when you want to, f that means if they are to set time and they want to fight alcoholism with time, they're going to close everywhere. They'll close supermarkets, they'll close petrol stations. You get, because these places also have alcohol. Yeah, sure. In Uganda, every shop is selling. No, every shop, even these shops that <laughs> sell um, sugar, they yeah. also have alcohol. But, but, but they so seek to, to, to give out licenses for every, every place that sells alcohol. So uh, we, we've... Oh, I don't know. I don't want to hit on the government. But we've seen people run businesses where they cannot even pay taxes to the local councils, mm -hmm. to their, their, their uh, divisions mm -hmm. and, and all that. Do we think the government is ready or do we think it has the right uh, measures, the right teams to come in and do all this? Because we've seen a URA fight with people. They've had mm. these buses, mm. they've done campaigns, but we still find like places closed because you did not, you do not have a KCCA license because you have not been remitting your taxes. Mm. And now here we are talking alcohol mm. as a particular mm -hmm. I, item of I, sale. I, I, I remember what happened to the border guys and elements. Mm -hmm. And now... <laughs> And now you can you can ride without an an element. I remember those days of the street belt. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know what is going to happen, because you know usually the the, the, the judges or oh, the lawyers are saying that, that, that the past case yeah, can judge this mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. So uh, according to the experience we have, well, we've seen from other things previous experiences that a lot of things are really not going to work. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know how they are going to implement work. Mm -hmm. But if they are making it work, my, my suggestion as an individual, if the age also goes up like to, up to mm -hmm. 25, because mm -hmm. you see, when they are advertising for betting and mm -hmm. gambling thing, they say you don't gamble. Gambling is uh, bad to a child, uh, uh, someone below 25. 25 because 20, yes. at 25... And ha has that worked? No. 
No, but at 25... Well, well, why do you think it isn't working oh, from yeah. your perspective yes. as that? Because ga- ga- uh, baiting and gambling is also a part of addictions that young people are... Mm. So I, I, I want to, to talk about uh, alcoholism. Eh? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if you take it at 25, because we, we understand that the brain of a human being stops growing at 25. Mm-hmm. So that means, you, you know, when you start using substance like alcohol when mm-hmm. you're young, mm-hmm. chances are high of getting other psychosis. We don't, we don't want to go in there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. if the age comes to 25 and every bar attendance is, they, they, they check for an age, like you, you come with your ID, mm-hmm. are you 25? So that we reduce, like, because I understand at 25, or if you're at university, you're on third year. But or, we, or, or you see, year. we are talking 78% no. of the Ugandan population. When you talk about IDs, I ask mm. myself, we know there are no employment opportunities in Uganda. Mm. As open as many as the young people who are being churned out of universities mm. can enjoy, right? We mm. Do we all agree to that? Mm. And now, like we know there are not enough employment opportunities mm. to, 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 to absorb. Mm. the number of young people who are being churned out of universities. Mm. Do we agree to that? Yeah, I agree. And now, without these employment opportunities, we have seen young people seek out for jobs way below the caliber of the their academic qualifications. Mm. Because someone has been like frustrated, they've been on the jobless streets for mm. quite a while, mm. they choose to become maybe a waiter mm. in the evening. Mm. And now, so when you say that the age limit goes mm. all the way up to 25, mm. when you say... Uh, the, 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 the whole access to bars goes to 25. Mm. Where should these young people go? I did not, talk, I did not say that uh, mm. working should go at 25. Mm-hmm. 18, someone is old enough to work. But you know, working is not using. If you are working in a bar, mm. you have a restricted role. You are 18, mm. you are supposed to work. To work, not to but, but but then now the rest of the population, mm. your fellow young people who mm. are not employed by the bar, mm. are the vibes on vibes team, the, the, the team enjoyments. So if they have no access to this bar, mm. then you have no job. Um, Derek, me or what I what we are we are talking about all this, mm. but then it, it just comes to me because you know, there's so many laws being put in place. There's mm. so many policies. There's mm. so many bills coming yeah. up. Mm. And these bills are fighting symptoms. They are mm. fighting effects. Mm. We should go down, like, if, um, and the MP Sarah Pendy wants to fight alcoholism, mm. let her not look at it at the surface. Mm. Let her dig deep and find out, okay, mm. Ugandans are drinking 12.2 million liters of alcohol. Mm. Per year. Yeah. That is what roughly you said nine point something per person. Mm. So why are these Uganda why are Ugandans drinking so much? Mm. You get find out mm. why and go go deep down and really figure out the cause. Because mm. I believe when you figure out the cause of something, mm. fighting the effect is okay. If they find if they figure out the causes as to why people are drinking so much alcohol automatically they won't even need to put so many policies in place if they find out those causes mm. and they solve those causes mm. even the consumption will go down mm. because they will have no reason to drink mm. for example a university if let's say people are drinking because of depression mm. and we fight depression in the university mm-hmm. they will have no reason to drink alcohol because they are having sound minds Good. you get mm. if this person is drinking maybe because I have problems that are bothering me. I cannot talk to anyone. Mm. I th- if that is put away and if that is solved, mm. believe me, I know the, the alcohol rate of al- um, children taking, university students mm. taking alcohol mm. will basically go down, down automatically. It won't even need to be forced. Mm. It will just happen by itself. And that means even the, the manufacturer will reduce. You Because I believe, you know that what? They're they are supplying so much because the demand is so it's high. So high. Yeah. You get. But yeah. what is causing this demand to go high? Mm-hmm. What is forcing these students to want to drink to alcohol? Drink. Mm. Because they, get. they know that alcohol causes yes. so uh, once issues. So once we find the cause of the problem, mm. the solution is going to be very easy. Mm. Yeah. Because people know, people know that alcohol causes uh, uh, liver, liver failure, even like other, other diseases that you, but they keep on drinking because they have other problems. I think we need to find a clear way of handling alcoholism from down the roots. And down the roots, I'm 
talking about students from all levels, all from nursery, primary, secondary, and university. If we, we can handle those ones, I'm very sure they are going to take the message back home and we will graduate on that. Well, uh, thank you so much, Julius and Michelle. Uh, do not forget, if you are out there, to keep the conversation flowing. Basically, hash inter-university debates, hash Civic Space TV on Facebook, on our YouTube channel, and on X, where we'll take a short break. And when we return, we shall go straight into the traditional bit of this alcohol control bill. Thank you so much for keeping it Civic Space TV. National Water and Sewage Corporation is committed to providing cost-effective, clean, safe, and reliable quality water and sewage solutions in urban centers across Uganda. National Water and Sewage Corporation reaffirms its commitment to 100% service coverage, geographical expansion, infrastructure development, water quality, pro-poor initiatives, customer care and stakeholder engagement, catchment, and water source protection. Be a water hero, pay your bills to zero balance, report all leaks, busts, and illegal water connections to enable us serve you better. Reach us through our toll-free numbers on 0800-200-977 or 0800-300-977. You can also communicate with us through any of our online platforms or visit the National Water and Sewage Corporation office nearest to you. This message is brought to you by National Water and Sewage Corporation. Well, be back from that short break, and uh, we are still keeping it here at the uh, Civic Space TV, and it is the inter-university debate. And to re echo for you, the topic today is alcoholism in universities in line of the proposed alcohol bill. Well, before we took a short break, I talked about uh, how we are going to go into the traditional bit of this bill. Well, right about now, we want to talk about the native liquor. From the region where I come from, our traditional drink is entudi. Uh, maybe people from the north, their traditional drink could be ajoni. So how does this native liquor come into play and, uh, and uh, university students? I've been at a university where uh, ajoni is a, a point of exchange. If you are a guild presidential aspirant who is coming for a rally at a hall, a certain hall in Makere University or other halls in, in your different universities, if you do not have Ajoni or Entudi Day, you will not give, be given a microphone to speak up, literally. So you have no microphone currency, like you will not talk because you have not given these students anything. And they will sit around a corner and then it will be like a ritual. And then when we go back into our homes, we have access to all this. But when it comes to light of the alcohol control bill 2023, it seeks not to regulate this. It actually gives it leeway that it is okay for you to drink your local beer, not local beer, your native liquor, you know, as long as you have permission from the town clerk or the chief administrative officer, you know, as long as you have uh, let them know that you brewed this. You know, I mean, it's not packed, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, it gets young people high. And like I gave you an example, I've been to these rallies back in them days and without a journey, without some Tudi day, you as a guild aspirant or as a GRC, you, you have no, no say, you, you, you cannot talk, you, you have not pleased these, uh, these, these, these people in these uh, halls of residence or, or schools or faculties so well. So how do you take this? Because we come from a perspective of, I mean, I've grown up drinking my mind too today. I mean, and it, if it gets me high, then if they are only regulating the other beers because of the advertisement, because of the age limit, but then we have access to this. So how, how, how does it contradict in your perspectives? Contradicting, I believe, um, it, if, if they are accepting one vice and stopping the other, I believe they're doing nothing at the end of the day because even these local brews, it's still alcohol. At the end of the day, you're going to drink it and you're going to have the same effects as someone who is drinking the the modern alcohol. So I believe if they are to pass the bill against alcohol, it should cut across all of them. Because alcohol stays alcohol, regardless of the name, the brand, the type, local, modern, imported, whatever it is, it remains alcohol. So if this bill is to cap all type alcohol, then it should cut across. Not saying, you know what, since this is traditional, it's local, let's leave it out. What, what they're trying to say is that since it's local, it doesn't get people high. People don't, 
people don't get the same repercussions as someone drinking um let's say let me um ubl products I, I, I think they find it as a as a, as a point mm-hmm. uh, as a source of socialization no even the modern even the modern alcohol is a source of socialization so like me i would say i would use i would use a luganda a luganda what is what are they called those quotes it's just you're doing the like they have watched they have tried and now they are saying okay close bars but then those small kiosks that are selling in two you can stay open like what is that like i mean okay. I've, i've seen those ajoni brewing like places within universities yes so if they if they want to close and they're saying okay we are bringing in time and we are closing close everything it doesn't make sense to say um ah you can uh, close here but leave this open at the end of the day it is still alcohol yeah. and besides if they close the bars if there were 20 people here they're going to become 50 oh. because they have closed that side So remember when he, uh, and is going like a remember when he, remember, remember yeah. when he said mm-hmm. that addiction someone will find if you are an addict you will look for anything mm-hmm. to get you high mm-hmm. so if they close the bars and say okay they close bars at 10 i'll be in the bar at 10 then from the bar i'll go and drink a joint mm-hmm. uh-huh. you get mm-hmm. so what have they done looking at the financial mm-hmm. side mm-hmm. this this beer the, the, the exported beers and the manufactured beers the, not the local ones mm-hmm. they give a lot of tax to the country i don't know whether they are going to stop people yeah, who yeah, are yeah. paying the, the bill seeks to 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 to, cha- to challenge importation a bit and have uh, restrictions in that line uh-huh. so I, i i don't know whether because alcohol is alcohol all over whether it's marua mtuli mm-hmm. there Tonto, 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 it is still beer, mm-hmm. uh, like, like we, we, NS, there is NS, yes, yeah. and others. As long as they have a thin in mm. them, they are alcohol. So if even beer, even even mananas can make someone high. Yeah. So it's also alcohol. If they are making a, an alcohol bill, let it be an alcohol bill. To, to 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 pose another question do we remember a time where they were challenging uh, the sachets the 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 so called sachets yes do you recall a yes. time when the the governments challenged that or of course because of the of climate change and those are uh, climate effects mm-hmm. but also because the the percentage of uh, of 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 well, uh, the circuits was yeah, extreme. Yeah, 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 it mean. was it was out of the roof man this yeah, circuits were pers- having 13 point something yeah yeah the percentage of the content Alcohol was content. high mm-hmm. but now the bill six just to like you cannot pack in a sachet mm-hmm. and then they also want to like roll out the plastic bottles mm-hmm. as well even if you were to pack it should not be less than 500 milliliters so it has to be 500 and above mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so what are we doing because now you they want us to pack because now i know most beers they range between 300 mm-hmm. 350 and 500 because i believe the biggest bottle is 500 mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so now if you're telling this beer custom this beer companies or mm-hmm. alcohol companies that you mm-hmm. know what we no longer want 350 and we don't we want such we don't want sachets we, want we now want 500 oh. what 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 i believe it's just you're just telling this person increase because now remember if in a liter mm-hmm. if um in a liter if you have 300 that is three bottles mm-hmm. right now mm-hmm. they're going to have two bottles in a liter so someone who was taking three beers to t- for them to take a liter they take three beers mm-hmm. now they only have to take two beers to take a liter So it's basically the same like there's no there's no I do not see any change because I mean I mean the the sachets were ruled out but they were ruled out and when we say ruled out you know at first I thought sachets were out like you know when you live in Wait, town they are still out there Yes there are places that still have sachets I think I So it means that the, the regulatory committees and bodies are failed at that because it was uh, actually a, a a widespread topic and uh, all these companies were called for meetings and then uh, they agreed and before we knew it we we could not see like such it's on the market but remember i don't know if we are not vigilant enough you know sure. there are those people 
when they're buying, mm -hmm. we call them wholesalers. Mm -hmm. They will buy boxes and boxes and boxes. Mm -hmm. Now imagine this person had like 300 boxes of sockets. Mm -hmm. 1,000 boxes. That means they still have sockets. Oh. You get? And then, I don't know, eradicating and the, the plastic bottles, it still does nothing. It's just beautifying the problem. Because because I, I asked the question in, in perspective of uh, volume and percentage that was on the sachets. Mm. So they clearly rolled them out and no one mentioned about the volume. They just did it be because they felt. I, I think like, like he said, they do not deal with the underlying factors and issues. Yes. They just... They just, you know, they, it's mm, like yeah. having a wound and before mm. you're going to just put a plaster. Mm. Oh. Remember, there's still dirt. Mm -hmm. So, yes, you have you have covered the wound with the dirt. That mm. means the wound will still get festive and the volume, uh, become septic. Mm, mm. And The volume of alcohol. Mm. To anyone who is struggling with alcoholic, alcoholism, mm, uh, alcoholism. sorry, yeah? mm -hmm. it is not on the bottle or jerry can. It is here. Whether they put it in a jerry can, mm -hmm. <laughs> whether in a jug, or a marua pot where they, they pack it in a marua pot, mm -hmm. or anything, they don't measure volumes in these things. Oh. They mm -hmm. measure volume on the head. The oh. capacity they will taken. take and take and take until when they reach that level. So it's not about changing, make it big mm -hmm. or make it smaller. If you make it smaller, they will take more. If we take it big and that big, they can, they can take it. They can mm -hmm. take it. Mm -hmm. They will take it. So it's not about the packaging. Mm -hmm. it's, it's basically addressing the problem. Itself. Addressing the problem. Yeah. Well, well, so this brings us to the light of failed implementation, if mm. you mean to say. Uh, the other week I was watching the news and uh, I saw the Ministry of Health uh, break into, into spaces where people are smoking shisha. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is when uh, the, 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 the one of the secretaries from those ministries came on board mm -hmm. and she was telling us how if you are smoking shisha, mm -hmm. it is basically, uh, 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 it, it, it is just tobacco that is mm -hmm. flavored mm -hmm. and every puff you take, that mm -hmm. is uh, equivalent to around 50 cigarettes. Mm -hmm. And then we were seeing these law enforcement mm -hmm. uh, bodies, that mm -hmm. is the police mm -hmm. and uh, persons from the Ministry of Health mm -hmm. walk into these spaces mm -hmm. and arrest people. Mm -hmm. So uh, the alcohol control bill mm -hmm. addresses this in two ways. Mm -hmm. One, it talks about public servants mm -hmm. and using this very brands of alcohol mm. and drinking and then it also talks about you as a as a service provider or someone who sells these uh, alcoholic drinks mm. having to be open enough if you have a uh, when these guys come in just like the URA guys come in mm. they ask you where your license is mm. and, and we know how uh, I, I don't know about you guys w what do you partake of this when these law enforcement uh, agents mm. like come into mm. spaces mm. to seek for uh, I mean, uh, the, 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 the licenses for these manufacturers, the licenses for these sellers, that mm. is the kiosks, mm. the bars, mm. the, the enjoyment places. Mm. Do you see it working, bearing in mind the failed implementation does, before? Does the law enforcement use? That's a question that we have to have in our mind. If a, a law enforcer, I mean, our policeman is mm. a user, and I, 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 I put a deal on the, on the table, mm -hmm. Do you think he's going to get, because using, I, as I told you, showing that you have a problem. Mm -hmm. So this, is, they, they this are, is medicine. They are human as well. So uh -huh. they are gullible to also of having course. issues or what uh -huh. you call every person is a mental health candidate. Yes. yes. So now if someone is having issues or they are struggling with alcohol use disorder, mm -hmm. and then they come to me as a, 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 a supplier or someone who is selling it, to ask for to ask for 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 the license blah blah or to 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 to, to make sure the law work you know so like then 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 i put a um a deal on a table mm -hmm. At how many beers do you take a day well, hmm? you and your friend how many beers <laughs> do you take a day you and your law enforcement friend <laughs> no, and actually <laughs> and actually even yeah you 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 know the, the saying um <clears throat> They're saying you have to get a license. People get these licenses. You get. Because mm -hmm. 
even if you, they say the license, maybe they it's uh, very hard to get. Mm-hmm. People will still get these licenses because mm-hmm. I know people. Because remember when they they leave, was it they legalized? Was it the weed or something like that? Mm-hmm. But you had to have a license. Yeah, sure. The license was was very expensive, mm-hmm. but people still went and got the licenses. Mm-hmm. You get. So even though you say they're going to put licenses, you have to do this, you have to do that. People will do it so that their business can survive. I'll get my license, and I'll put it in my shop. Mm-hmm. People will come and drink. But then have I stopped? Like, me having a license, how has it helped curb alcoholism? Mm-hmm. Like, what has what does me getting a license have yeah. to do with stopping alcoholism? alcoholism? Yes. It's literally like saying, okay, now I have a right. Mm-hmm. I can sell alcohol. Mm-hmm. You get it? Mm-hmm. So that's, that's why I come to the question of what exactly are we fighting? Mm-hmm. You get what a, You know, when the, when, the, when the MP sits back and, and like, reads through her bill, what exactly is she trying to stop? Mm-hmm. Is she trying to limit the time people spend in bars? Mm-hmm. Or is she trying to limit the problem of alcoholism? Because mm-hmm. I believe personally, if she's trying to limit alcoholism, she might be going it, she might not be wrong in a way, but then she could do better than what than what she is trying to like she she could get better ways. Because I... time won't do anything. I feel like sharing something, but mm-hmm. I don't know whether I'll be attacking. Time like on, it's a, some time we react according to what is in our heart and in 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 our you, you feel like the, the honorable minister had, uh, the honorable member of parliament had a, a personal conviction as to why she brought up the bill let me give an example i'm not mm. going to use the the, the <laughs> right honorable mm. if 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 your husband mm-hmm. uh, is coming late mm. at home and you understand that he stays he spend a lot of time in bars. Mm. What do you do? You support the cause because mm. he will be coming home early. You remit. I'm not. I'm not saying this that you she, are not list. saying she personally. Uh-huh. Right. Mm. So uh, sometimes, because me uh, uh, as as an, a mental health advocate, I'm not seeing where this bill is going to help people who are struggling with alcoholism. Because if you say that you can drink at home, that means, guys, get out of bar, go back at home and find your wife, Take and the then you vibe drink. Home. No, you know, yeah. no. the vibe home. But, In fact, make even your kids see you drinking. Exactly. You drink with them. Actually, now, you're, she's saying they close the bars. I can choose to have a house party at my home. Uh-huh, sure. You cannot restrict the, the time uh-huh. in my house. I can make a house If bar. we choose to, I could, I could say, okay, you know what? Since I can't go to the bar, mm. let me make a bar at home. Yeah. Over the weekend, I invite I my friends. friends. We drink. We can Derek. drink until, like, you cannot, re- you cannot restrict what uh-huh. happens in my home. You can you come. Get. Derek, I invite you to my place. We, we drink, drink up and to... you sleep there. Oh. You get so, that... and these are <laughs> university students within each other's proximity. That is, uh, I mean, hostel, uh-huh. host, uh, like, yeah. like, like if we go to Makere, uh-huh. it's really Chikoni. We know Chikoni uh-huh. is full of hostel. Yes, we know Chikumi. Chikumi is full of hostel. Mm. Mm. When we, can... we go to Nkumba University, mm. we know uh, we have maybe why it's full, why of, it's full host... of hostels. So we can mm. say, you know what, Derek? You know what? Since we, we can't go to we the go bar, to Banda, let's go to your hostel. You know what? Let's go to your hostel. Yeah. We buy we our alcohol. Uh-huh. Then we, we change from hostel. There. We, are keep, we keep on changing okay, you know, hostel. From, from Derek's hostel, we'll be like, okay, now let's go to Michelle's hostel. Uh-huh. You get like, you we know drink what? From this there? weekend, we are at Derek's uh-huh. hostel. Next weekend, we are at Michelle's hostel. Uh-huh. Next weekend, it is so and so's mm-hmm. hostel. So you get, they have limited the time in the bars, but people are still going to drink alcohol because not everybody who drinks alcohol goes Dude. to a bar. Yes. I, you know, I have people who they just get like a field or, uh, you know, these camping sites, mm. they come with their crates of beer mm. and their music mm. and they sit and they drink their alcohol. They are in open, you know, you're not going to come and tell them, please stand up and go home. They are not in a bar. Then I'm not in a bar. <laughs> you get. So when they say you want to limit closing the bars, mm. let me, one thing I know house about. House parties are going no, to become You know, house one parties. thing I know about Ugandans, Ugandans mm. are very creative, creative human beings. Yay. You get. When they realize they cannot go to the bar, Past 10 p.m., they will, make they will innovate something where bars they can the continue their alcoholism. Hmm. So, the problem is if we are fighting alcoholism, let us look for the causes of alcoholism yes. and fight those causes. Let Be- us not just put um, 
plasters on very big wounds. Yeah, we don't need you to, get. to react on, on, on the symptoms. Oh. And yeah. So, so from, from your submissions, it seems like this bill hmm. seeks to control what the public sees the university students do. Sure. Yes, exactly. So, because at the end of the day, you will not be seeing them in bars past 10 p.m. But at the end of the day, you will not be seeing them vibing and all that because they know there are these restrictions. Yes, they know there are these repercussions. Mm -hmm. But they at the will end still of the be day, drinking the they alcohol. They will be still drinking. And you will see, even the, 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 the number will increase. Then you, you'll hear Do you know that we consumed a lot of alcohol in COVID? Yeah, sure. You see? That is how that because the, the we were at home and the bars were closed. And the bars were closed. <laughs> so, you, so it's not about know? the bars. So you ask yourself, okay, because you know they say per year, mm. we still consider that means in the COVID years, which I believe began in 2019 mm. to like 2021, mm -hmm. we were in, we were. I remember there's a period we were in total lockdown. Talk to yeah, I remember there's a period uh, of time. I remember there's a period of time I spent mm. seven good months without stepping out of the compound, mm. and. At the end of the day, my, my father would still have his beer at home. Mm -hmm. You get, mm -hmm. like, did that, did that stop the consumption of alcohol? But did, you, did you mean your father uh, uh, stock? No, no, he'd not you stock, mm -hmm. but it was there. It was still it accessible. Was you, you can get. find a way of getting it you get. if you need so, it. So this thing of the saying university students, we mm. should um, push the bars very far. Mm -hmm. We should um, restrict the time mm -hmm. and all that. So if you yes, push them far, they will bring them in a hostel. You know, it will reduce on them going there. Mm. You get? But they mm -hmm. will not, it will not It reduce. will not reduce on the level of alcohol being taken. People will find other places to take the alcohol. Mm -hmm. So I believe... Whatever whatever runs through um, Sarah Pendy's mind when mm. she is thinking about this bill, mm. she should not think she should not think lightly about it because mm. this problem is bigger than bars. Mm. Big. It's bigger than social events. It's bigger than the people and all mm. that. Mm. This problem is you have to first find out why does Michelle drink. drink. Now, when you find out why Michelle drinks alcohol, How can I then you Michelle? can get a solution. But if you just say, you know what, Michelle, don't drink, mm. don't go out, mm. you're doing nothing. Because mm -hmm. you haven't solved my problem. Mm. I still have my problem. Yes. You and we can be drinking, me and Michelle, but we have different problems. We are drinking the same liquor, same beer, same content, same amount. But we have. But we are fighting problems. different demons at and, the end of the and day. The, and the bond is. <laughs> is alcohol. What? Uh, what mm. uh -huh. So our, our mutual your, friend is. Your, 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 you come with your issues, with, uh -huh. with your struggles, uh -huh. and uh, okay, what young people we, lately call demons. Mm. Everyone comes with their demons, mm. and the point of bondage is of alcohol. bonding is alcohol. And so, guess now how relationship are now starting developing. Oh. People like me having mm -hmm. a lot of problems and find Michelle, I'm just using an example, mm -hmm. with her own problems. We meet at the bar joint. We become a very big We problem. become a very good friend and then we, we start living together. We become a very big problem and then we give birth to someone. Because oh. <laughs> this, this alcoholism has, it, you, know, it, you know, it's like, it's, it, it has roots. I want to believe it has roots. Yeah. You it get is, it? Has. So, that is why I'm going to use again. I'm going to refer to the the, the Luganda verbs and mm. pre, and the sayings they say. Akacha mm mama -hmm. mira. Weka kula wogeza kukati reza kamenye kabo menyes. You get. Mm -hmm. So if you do not curb this vice, mm. Ali, from, the from the roots, yeah. uh -huh. and you try to curb this, to it, prune, and to prune you're doing nothing because the the problem is there. You know, I keep on telling someone. You have a, you you see a tree mm. and you cut it from the middle. Mm -hmm. That tree has chances of growing back again mm. oh. because it you know the the stem the stalk is still there. It has mm -hmm. roots, mm -hmm. but if you uproot this tree by the roots, mm. it will not grow again. Yeah. And I've actually seen this happen. They cut down trees. Mm. You come back two years later, the tree is you know it's starting putting on small small. Mm, yeah, sure, sure. You know? and before you know it, it's, before you know it's, it, it's, back. it's a big tree again. Mm, you give it mm. like five more years, ten more years, it's a big tree again. Mm, mm. You get. But had it been uprooted by the roots, it would be nowhere. Mm. You get. Mm. So instead of her trying to find these small small um, solutions, mm. you know, uh, cleaning up here and there, pruning mm. this and that, let her find the 
the, so the problem, the causes, why are university students drinking? What is forcing these university students into bars? What problems are those? What, mm. How big are they yeah. that they have <clears throat> to resolve to alcohol? Now, once she solves those problems, believe me, the, univers the, the content of the intake of alcohol by university students will reduce because they will not have reasons to take the alcohol again. Because, yeah. um, for example, you know, you they say peer pressure and all that, mm. but these universities take alcohol because of anxiety mm -hmm. and depression mm -hmm. and because they have challenges that they want to fight. Mm. Yeah, so, I think that's the reason why freshers are taking a lot. One, mm. they want to feel big. Two, they also want to be in a, like, feel like they are in university. Three, because they have a lot of, uh, like, they, they close them inside eh? all that time. Where are you going? What are you doing? Where from are you? home. Yeah, from home. So when they get this freedom, like, this is the say, chance of, to uh -huh. fly and so high. Uh -huh. So now you are now starting fighting their freedom. This is the time of freedom. Now, if if right honorable finds a soul, uh, the, the, he, I think she need to go into the university mm -hmm. or, 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 or schools. And find out why are and the find students out drinking. Exactly. Because if she sits in her own chair, she will never find the problems. Because we have a lot of problems and different problems. You know, actually, me, I have a problem with these law implementers. <laughs> Personally, I'm not even a political person because I have a problem with them. They sit at the comfort of their homes and, mm -hmm. and then they, they be like, mm, but the Ugandans are doing this. Mm. I think we should do this. this. But they have not gone down to the ground to mm -hmm. find out why, why are Ugandans doing I, I think we've seen it before. There was a, a controversial topic. I don't recall what that was. So the members of parliament were each given, I think, around, was it 35 million shillings mm -hmm. to go back to their constituencies mm. to do a bit of research mm. and find out how exactly the problem can be like alleviated mm. and all that mm. stuff. Mm. And we saw some members of parliament, specifically the opposition, decline mm. the money mm. and uh, some took it back. Mm. It was a very big thing. I don't recall what about. And the others went mm -hmm. and then they said no and then they come and say, ah, they said yes. They said yes. <laughs> so so, so do, does it seem like our uh, Honorable Sarah Opendi did not do enough research did not reach out to for example these are uh, young people because uh, the whole point of the bill mm. even from the, the, the supporting other mm. members of parliament mm. was because of the young people mm. they said we need to protect this 78 percent mm because -hmm. it is the future of uganda mm. it is the development of uganda True. without these we mm. are not going forward yes. yes so is it that they did not reach out to these young people to mm. find out the real issues that mm. are affecting them and leading them to overuse alcohol I, maybe we could say that that mm -hmm. they didn't reach out enough mm -hmm. but maybe they they did actually reach out but then they are not using the right methods of helping these young children because mm -hmm. for example if i have a problem with anxiety and i get anxious mm -hmm. and for example you know there are people who have what they call stage fright mm -hmm. and they can only go in public and talk in public mm -hmm. when they have taken a bottle or two we mm -hmm. have also seen that get, with our very own teachers from secondary school yes mm -hmm. they the, 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 the know, science teachers mm -hmm. we used to know that ah if so and so has not drunk mm -hmm. they will not get the equation right that mm -hmm. is chemistry you mm -hmm. know if so and so has not drunk mm -hmm. right they will not get a solution get, for so, mathematics mm -hmm. so if they do not fight my anxiety because mm -hmm. now the reason i'm drinking is anxiety it's because we want to so present get, and they no, <laughs> I have to be there. Uh -huh. I have to show up. Mm -hmm. I need now for me to show up. I need to drink this alcohol. Uh -huh. To you be know? the I, and that means, and when I drink alcohol, that means I am not fully conscious. Mm. I am halfway conscious. Mm. That is why I have the courage because mm. I don't fully understand mm. what I am doing. Mm -hmm. Because if I was in full control of what I was doing, mm. I would I would have anxiety. I would mm. freak out. Mm -hmm. You get. So if my problem is anxiety. And my solution is alcohol. Mm. And you close the bars. Mm. Believe me, I'll find another solution to my anxiety. Because I have a problem. You know, I have the problem. My problem is not alcohol. Mm. My problem is anxiety. Yes. That is so a, a, if it's anxiety, that is my problem. Mm -hmm. And you tell me I cannot drink alcohol. Mm. I will find another solution mm. to my anxiety. Mm. But then if you come to me and you help me with my anxiety, mm. I will not have reason to mm. take alcohol mm -hmm. because you have solved my problem. Mm -hmm. You get. So I believe <coughs> she should talk to the youth mm -hmm. and 
she should really go on ground and really understand why are the university students mm. drinking mm. so much mm. Mm. you know basically understand mm. and when she understands why they're drinking so much she should be able to find the solutions to the problems yes. not the reasons as to why they are like not to the the symptoms of the problem mm -hmm. she should find the solution, solution to, to the, the problem, problem of the symptom mm -hmm. as as we continue and we try to wind up could you please go specific uh like in your last talking points and you let the, the general community know what are these problems and as a socio worker as a student at Mkumba University mm -hmm. what would you think would be the right approach from the bill or from the, the, the other things that you were suggesting earlier? No, I think the right approach to helping these university students is mm -hmm. not putting time limits or putting um, boundaries, putting penalties, you know, having those, um, what are they called, laws put in place. Mm -hmm. She should really speak, like, for example, they should have more um, activities that involve the youth. You know, help them understand themselves. You know, and actually some of these people, at these universities are drinking, not because, just because they have too much time. You get, they're drinking because they have a lot of time, like they have a lot of free time that has, they have nothing to do with, so they end up drinking. So they should go and find out exactly why are these university students drinking. You know, university students are drinking because of so many reasons. They have stress, they have, for example, you have, they have deadlines, they have, you know, I'm in my hostel, I have nothing to eat, I am, I have debts, um, maybe I have um, social anxiety, I um, have family issues. Um, I'm here, but I don't know how I'm going to pay for my tuition. They have so many challenges they are facing. And then they're using alcohol as a way of reducing the stress on their minds. Mm. They want to take this alcohol and forget what is happening. You know, like they want to skip reality and jump into another alternate universe. But then if they can go and help this university student, you know what, you know what, you have anxiety. I think the best you can do is maybe go for counseling. Um, maybe when you get this problem, you can actually find this different type of coping mechanism. Like find healthier ways to in that they can use. To, uh, to solve their problem, then that though, the alcohol itself will reduce automatically because they'll have no use for it. Because as I gave you an example of me having anxiety, if my anxiety is, um, is sorted, I will, have no, I will have no business taking alcohol because I have nothing bothering me. Wow, thank you so much, Michelle. And over to you, Julius. Could you please make your conclusion about the alcohol drinks control bill? Thank you so much. I can't imagine seeing Uganda with a place where you can go to talk about yourself and your problem. In any angle, like I'm from a taxi and my taxi conductor has done this and this and this, and I'm like, where can I find this and this? Like, go there. Self spaces, you mean? Yeah. You go there and then you express yourself to someone, maybe you will not drink. Maybe you get another way. Because I'm very sure if they get a professional, they will tell you what to do. I think I think that will be enough. Well, thank you so much. And that's been it from uh, Michelle and Julius. Thank you so much for joining us today at Civic Space TV. Mm -hmm. And like I always say, the conversation keeps up flowing on Twitter, on our YouTube channel, and over at Facebook. And our topic has been alcoholism in universities in light with the alcohol control bill. Well, I've been Derek Mugabe, and thank you for keeping it Civic Space TV. Until next time. Mm -hmm.